Task 12.1 is enable modules. In this task, you will learn how to enable the modules of stocks, sales, and also purchases. Now, please go to Tools, Program Control, and to allow you to enable the function, you may go to Module Setting. What you have to do is to enable stocks, sales, and also purchase. As you can see here, currently we already enabled three modules, which is GL, AR, and AP. So we check for sale, purchase, and also stock. You may always come back here and enable whatever function that you need by time to time. Once you already done select, click on OK. The next one, what we want to do is we want to add new normal account and we want to set as a default account. So, please go to GL and click on Account Maintenance. The parent's account for the new account will be under Expenses. So, you have to scroll down and search for Expenses as a parent. Then, click on New Normal Account button. The account number will be 930000 and description will be Rounding Adjustment. So, once you have done, click on Save. For your information, in our sample chart of account, we didn't provide you with rounding adjustment account. So just in case if you need it, you have to create it under your chart of account first. So once you already create rounding adjustment account, you have to maintain the setting for rounding adjustment. To maintain the setting for rounding adjustment, you have to go to tools, then select options. So the first setting you need to do is under GL 5 cent rounding adjustment account. This is compulsory for you to enter the GL account. So you may spell out rounding adjustment and select. The second one you have the second setting you need to do for rounding adjustment is under Invoicing, 5 cent rounding. As you can see here, for the rounding adjustment, we already disabled for all function. So whenever you need it, you have to enable. So the place that we want to enable is under Invoice 5 cent rounding option and also Cash Sales 5 cent rounding option. So under invoice 5 cent rounding option, we click the drop down button and we choose to enable 5 cent rounding. If you choose enforce 5 cent rounding, it's a compulsory for you to choose to, to do the 5 cent rounding for each transaction under invoice. But if you choose enable, means you still have option to disable the 5 cent rounding at the bottom of each transaction under invoice. So we choose enable 5 cent rounding and for cash sales 5 cent rounding option also we click on enable 5 cent rounding. And then for the next setting we want to do is under stock we want to set the default UOM. The default UOM means Example, if after this you have multiple of, you have few of stock item, the main item will use the default UOM, which is unit, for example. So if you have other UOM, you may enter when you want to create your stock item. So the majority of stock item will use the default UOM, which is unit. So this one, to easier for you, 
to not enter the um one by one when you want to create the stock item later so once you have done click on okay the next one we need to check is we want to make sure that all the required text code we already enable so you may go to text text code maintenance to check so under purchase text code what we need is P10, P5 for purchase tax 5% and also PS6, purchase service tax 6%. And all the tax account number is now, means you may double click under each tax code and check under tax account number and must make sure that you don't select any account number. We go to the second one, which is purchase tax 5%. Tax account number already empty. And the last one is under purchase service tax 6% already empty. Click on OK. Now, same goes to the supply tax code. Under sales tax 0%, supposed to be 0, empty under tax account number. And then the next one, S10, sales tax 10%. The tax account number is supposed to be sales tax account close s5 sales tax 5 percent supposed to be sst 4010 sales tax account close it the next one sv0 service tax zero percent should be empty and the last one sv6 service tax six percent supposed to be sst 4020 which is service tax account and all these already be automatic selected by the tax account number when we choose the proposed SST account. As you can see here, the account number already be assigned once you select the proposed SST account before. So this one, I just click close. So once you have done, you may close tax code maintenance. And that's all for task 12.1.